If you want to be able to buy the most expensive players and open the best packs in FC24, go to u7buy.com to buy your EA FC24 coins. It's cheaper than buying FC points and just as reliable. With their already amazing prices, you can get an extra 6% using promo code INCEPTION at checkout. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a new evolution. Uh, this time it's going to be for the defenders, right? So we already have the attackers. We had one for a midfielder, but it's a paid one, obviously, on oh, every single time evolutions. Um, the paid one was obviously the one that we checked out the other day, which is the FS attacking midfielders. I don't know if they actually do FS Academy midfielders. We'll see. They could, right? Uh, this one has a whole lot of options. There's a, a ton, right? And I think the chemistry might work the same way with this. And this is not showing the eligible players, even though I have them. <laughs> All right. Um, so first improvement, uh, plus two for pace, plus three for defending. Uh, press proven regular, skill move improvement. Obviously very nice. Uh, weak foot improvement, relentless. Relentless would be really cool if you can rotate some of these guys into the midfield position because it's the plus version of it. But Relentless is still really nice, especially when you're second man pressing. So that's actually still a W play style for defenders as well. And then the third one is going to be uh, a plus two for pace, physical for passing seven, dribbling six, and then a block plus. Block plus, really, really huge play style. That's a big one. Big, 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 big play style for a defender. So... Let's go ahead and check out some of the options that we do have here. Um, again, I can't check them out because it's basically glitched in the actual game. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and check them out over here. So the play styles, um, oh, just be mindful. So apparently, apparently you can put defenders in attackers, but you cannot put attackers into defenders. And it's because of the defending requirement. Okay, so uh, did I say that correctly, chat? I'm pretty sure I said that correctly. And just letting you guys know that you can do that because when you go over here, you can see that the left back, Sergio Gomez, has power header plus and acrobatic, right? But for this specific evolution, these are the play styles that you're obviously going to want more than those other two. Those other two are going to be pretty useless for those specific play style pluses, right? In my opinion, because you want like physical dudes. But Sergio Gomez uh, takes the top spot here. Why? Because obviously he provides really good links in your team. He's a Manchester City player, Spanish player, Premier League, five-star skills, four-star weak foot. They've now given him the block plus. They've given him the relentless plus as well. And the key thing here is that this card can be rotated into the CDM position because he actually has that position change. Now, because he's five foot seven, it is a card that for me personally would mainly stay in the left back position or the left mid position as well, because he's kind of formatted for that too, if you wanted to give him like a hunter chemistry style, but it definitely looks mainly like a left back to be fair, right? Um, this card with the five star skills, four star weak foot, really good dribbling stats would be pretty fun to work with in the game because obviously he has some pretty significant improvements on the card while working with incisive pass, Jockey while working with block plus is huge. That's amazing. Really, really good to have jockey with block plus. Um, and then he has the press proven relentless plus obviously very good with block too. So this is definitely going to be the top choice for a lot of people because again, he gives you very good links and he has very good play styles to work with considering the fact that you're most likely going to go ahead and give this card. Is that his max pace with the, oh, it is. With the shadow chemistry style 97 acceleration 94 for sprint speed and then defensive stats massively increased with a high medium work rate you could technically use this card as a midfielder too if you wanted to because you know how he has a set a cdm position change like if you kept him on like a stay back cover center role you know how sometimes there's like the 412 and 2 or the 4321 and you have that center mid area he could be nice there because of the five star skills with the left foot and then if you gave him a hunter, your ball roll Trivellas could actually come off decently while working with good defensive stuff too. So a card looks very interesting for the most part, for sure. Definitely gonna be the most sought after player when it comes to this specific evolution, 100%. Uh, this guy comes second place. I've already seen people from the share plays that we did earlier today, they already added him into the squad because um, he looks pretty decent as well, right? So with this card, four star weak foot, already a plus. Six foot three heights, great. Low high work rates with 
high and average plus body type. So it's probably gonna be really tough to pass him if he has the right play styles, right? So if we go to the evolution version here on the 90, play styles wise, uh, that's the wrong one. It would be this one. It would be evolution. Attackers. Let me see something here just quickly. <laughs> it's funny how you can do that with the attackers. Imagine going with this card and then just massively increasing his shooting. <laughs> that would be so useless, man. Oh, dude. Anyways, it's this card, right? So with this card, Relentless Plus, Block Plus, Pings Pass. See, this card looks really nice as well. This card looks really nice. A thing that's actually very underrated playstyles for center backs is the passing ones. Long ball pass is amazing to have for center backs. Like really, really good. Really, really solid. Uh, because they're so assisted when they make those passes. And in his case, he has really good passing stats. He also has pinged pass. He also has sly tackle if you go for those, right? And then he also has press proven, right? This card on a shadow chemistry style is looking pretty nice, especially since he's a mostly lengthy card, right? So he definitely looks like a very good option. Definitely looks like these two are going to be the top options to work with just in general because they look kind of crazy, right? Um, the next one here is going to be a Burnley player that plays in the Premier League, 93 base pace, which obviously is in a really good area. Uh, he gets the four star weak foot, medium, medium work rates, five foot 11. On a shadow chemistry style, you would drastically increase the pace to be as high as possible. I'm going to tell you guys this right now. It's always important to maximize the pace. Technically speaking, could you go in the direction of giving him an anchor chemistry style and work with 95 acceleration, 98 for sprint speed while boosting the physical stats? Sure, you can 100% do this. But if you guys play this game, you guys know that this game is a very, very park the bus counter attack heavy game. And if you come across someone that has someone like Kylian Mbappe, he's going to get cooked. You know what I'm saying? So that's why for me, I always go in the shadow routes because most of the times I'd rather just have the pace to get into those areas anyways, right? But with him, there's a little bit of a few variables to work with because he is 5'11 with an average body type. So obviously that definitely adds to the card uh, in regards to giving him that physical boost too. So again, it's one of those types of cards that you would have to try out in game uh, to see how he kind of performs because he's formatted nicely on the anchor because of the average with a 5'11". If he was like 5'7", I would just say give him a shadow, right? But because he has the body type for it, he could actually be a very solid defensive player. He has regular anticipate, which is a huge plus. Uh, block plus, relentless plus, obviously. Then he also has... Oh, see, this adds to it now. This adds to it. If I give him an anchor, he has rapid and quick step. That adds to it. Now I'm not looking at shadow as much now. That now I'm not looking at it as much because of those two play styles pushing the pace out of the card a little bit more. So this is actually a nice card too. If he didn't have the rapid and the quick style, I'd be like, oh, you know, I gotta give him a shadow. Pace is very important. But hey, even still, man, you might still want to give him a shadow for that extra acceleration. Uh, because I mean, working with those pace play styles is definitely very, very nice. So you can't go wrong with that. Sorry, guys, moving on. Um, just had to upload the video first for the SBC player pick. All right. <clears throat> what else we got here? So we have, ooh, you know what's funny? This this guy, I feel like he'd be a monster. Because when I used, there was, a, there was a card that existed last year where I was like, you know what? If he got like a new card, he'd be kind of nice. In this year's game, play style is obviously a really big deal, but he has like really, really W position changes, right? Because this card, He's just formatted like a beast, okay? Look at him. So you give him a shadow, but he's a controlled, like, uh, you know what? These ones are, these ones are chalked, right? Because you guys can't actually see them telling you what it is, right? But if I go here and I go to this one right here, okay. So we go to the evolutions version, right? This one right here. So this card, controlled lengthy on a shadow, 95 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed, medium high work rate. So let's say, for instance, you use a formation and a custom tactic where that specific fullback is on stay back while attacking. The dribbling is not going to be the craziest with him, but it's still going to be great considering that he's six foot one, medium high work rates, right? 
physical stats also there as well. But the kicker here is the shadow chemistry style working with the lengthy. That's the kicker because the physical presence that this card would have in the game would be sick. And the, the cool thing about him is that he could be used in different positions, right? He has CDM, he has center back, and he has the right wing back. Play styles in game. This is the wrong one. Um, evolutions. Doesn't have it here, so we just got to go here. Okay, so play styles in game, you know, shadow chemistry style, 94 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed. Defensive stats massively increased. Uh, medium high, six foot one. And then he has relentless block, but he has power header. He has jock. Dude, look at this card. Look at this card. Okay, because this guy has crazy potential in game. Okay, crazy play styles, lengthy with the pace with the defense. He has rapid. He's got jockey to work with the block plus and regular anticipate with a press proven. This card looks nuts. He looks really, really good. And honestly, there's a lot of people that really require the Dutch links as well. The, the league links, not so much, but the Dutch links would be kind of crazy, you know? And if the chemistry works the same way for these bad boys, then like they do on the attackers, and that obviously be a really, really big deal to work with. So that looks, that looks like a crazy card. Like he looks very, very good, to be honest. Uh, female player over here, Svava. So obviously this card is going to be someone that some people might be interested in. Uh, mainly because of uh, the new Atenia card, right? That card is, pro is like, I've been trying out the attackers like crazy guys, and she is the best one I've used so far, hands down, right? The five-star, five-star, the fact that she actually feels good on the dribble, regardless of the short and lean minus body type. Um, she looks, She's great, right? And this card is the female player that provides you the link to her card directly, right? So some people might be interested in this because... In her case, she's five star skills, four star weak foot, left footed player. She's definitely formatted for the shadow, 100%, right? She has the pace, she has the defending stuff to work with, she's got physical, dribbling, passing, play styles. She has the same play style plus, is obviously technical is really big. Technical is a really, really solid one, especially if you're going on the attack. Rapid to make her feel as fast as possible. Aerial is actually cool for her. Because Ariel with 90 jumping for the for the far post crosses could actually be a helpful thing to work with. Because considering the fact that she's five foot eight, what's her body type? She's in the she's in the realms of like the the male body types, right? Because she's an average, she's an average body type with good physical stats while being five foot eight, while being a fast player, being small. So she could be really really good as well. Especially on that shadow chemistry style to boost the pace, to boost the defense, to be as high as possible. Um, she is specific for that left back, uh, left back, left wing back position, 100%. That's, that's not really a card I would use anywhere else. Could you technically use her as a left mid? Sure, you know, she's going to be really agile, but she kind of lacks in the shooting to be um, one of those like really consistent ones, right? Eric Garcia. Uh, this card is a Girona player. Because obviously there's a two different versions from before, but obviously he doesn't play there anymore. He plays for Girona. Uh, this card controlled lengthy on a shadow. Looking pretty solid, right, for the Liga Santander teams. The biggest variable here is the Spanish links, right? Because there's some cards that people want to work with that provides the Spanish links. Meta-wise, you know, four-star weak foot, W. Medium-high work rates, W. Six-foot tall, W. Does he have an average body type? Average body type, W, right? So obviously looking very nice so far. Play styles wise, also looking pretty good too. So block plus, relentless plus, obviously. But this is the passing play style type, right? And guys, as I've mentioned to you guys many times, okay? In many reviews, always look at if these cards have passing play styles in the defense because it's actually incredibly helpful. When I have a law pass, the long ball pass in general for center backs, oh my goodness, so crazy to work with. It really is, especially if you use a formation where your left mids and your right mids commit on the attack, bro, being able to do a law pass is crazy because guys, there's so many situations where you're building up the attack, right? And your right mid or something comes back on the defense. You can make the pass to your fullback, to your center back, and then that guy is still making the run and you can do a law pass to him. There's so many times, like Virgil van Dijk, by the way, is obviously a crazy meta card in this game. But let me just show you guys as an example, right? Virgil van Dijk, this guy has long ball pass. You guys have no idea how many times I utilize that with this card. That's why this guy, even though he's 63K, is still one of the best defenders in the game, right? Because 
he has everything to make him a beast. And then that body type is crazy to work with defensively as well, too, right? But look into that, right? Passing play style is really, really big deal. Lob, the lob, the long ball, excuse me, play style is a very incredibly underrated play style. Passing play styles in general are very underrated for center backs when it comes to general build up play. So that actually looks like a pretty cool card, too. Do I think a lot of people would choose him over some other cards? Maybe. It depends if they're going at the variable of like the Barcelona players. Like they're building some sort of like past and present Barcelona team that's going to be meta to use in the game, right? That's going to be like the huge variable. Um, next up we have here is another... Yo, Burnley players. Hey, you guys are cooking today, bro. You got two players. Epa. They got two players for Burnley, bro. The, the, the devs, bro. They're Burnley fans, 100%. The devs are Burnley fans. Because look at this, man. Center back card, four star weak foot, W. High, high work rates. I don't mind that, to be honest. High, high is okay. Controlled lengthy on a shadow with really good pace. 94 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed. Um, defensive stats there. Physical stats in a very good area. Body type average, or I would say high and average, probably. Yeah, high and average for him. Okay. That, lo that looks pretty nice, too. So high and average for him. Pace boost on a shadow chemistry style, 94 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, play styles. Aerial's a W. Aerial's actually really helpful, to be fair, considering how big he is as well. Block plus, considering how big he is, is really good too. Slide, tackle, press proven. I mean, listen, for the Burnley fans, you're, you're kind of cooking. You're cooking. You got some uh, pretty decent center backs to work with. Or defenders to work with in general. That's actually very, very nice for sure. Uh, what else we got here? We have Tolkien. Tolkien, MLS player, left back, can be moved into the CDM position. Four star, four star, five foot seven, high, high. I mean, looking good so far, honestly. Shadow chemistry style, you have, see, so here's the difference. No quick step, no rapid, right? So none of those two, uh, two play styles. So for him, you have to give him a shadow, which is not bad because, you know, he's still formatted nicely in the shadow. Gets a very, very significant boost. Uh, has long throw. I don't really use long throw that much, but honestly, like if someone actually had a long throw play style, there's certain situations where it actually would be very helpful, to be fair. But Shadow Chemistry style on this card, four star, four star. To be fair, it still looks like a very nice player, right? He obviously provides you um, the MLS links. A lot of people who want to get easier links with someone like Lionel Messi in their team, this is more of like a card that is... A nice card to work with meta wise right like especially if they have a player of the month messi and they don't have icons in their team um not we're not player of the month messi excuse me the team of the year one from that crazy player pick this is not a horrible option if they would need that chemistry link because that's like the hardest thing to do with messi is to get the chemistry with him if you don't have the icons right because the argentinian players is like a few they're decent but you know but yeah that card looks uh looks pretty interesting too uh parisi parisi uh italian player plays for the Serie A. Good links as well. So Shadow Chemistry style again for him. You got to boost that pace to be as high as possible. If he has Quick Step and Rapid or any of those two while having perfect pace with good defense and good physical, that'd be kind of nuts. Rapid. Hey, okay, so Rapid at least. That's actually nice. So this is a nice card too because look, Rapid working with Jockey. Regular Jockey is fine just for the movement. You need the movement at least, right? Rapid with regular Jockey on a block plus. And then Relentless, again, very underrated because when you're doing like the second man press stuff, it's 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 cool to have, you know? Because look, look at the description for this, right? Greatly reduces the long-term fatigue effects on attributes, reaction time, and defensive awareness, reduces fatigue loss during play, and significantly increases fatigue recovery during halftime, right? So, it, like, it's this one, it's this one working with these two. It's these two, right? It's the press proven part working with that, right? Because the press proven is the one um, where he gets like the, uh, the close control stuff. The shield touches work out really nicely, too. Um, but yeah, it's it's always those two together. That's actually really nice. So very, very solid there, too. Uh, let me see what else we have here with the defenders. Dutch player from Wolfsburg. Let's see this one. Four star weak foot, high, high. Five foot nine. No, she looks good, too. Yeah, she looks good, too. Five foot nine high high with what play styles? Guys, all of these are nice. There's definitely like ones that are definitely gonna be the top for sure, but this is really situational to someone's team. Because look at the play styles she has as well. Block plus, regular anticipate, aerial, 
long ball pass, incisive, like she has good play styles and it's a well formatted card for the most part on shadow chemistry style. 97 acceleration, 96 sprint speed, relentless working with press proven while, while being high, high work rated. She's looking pretty cool too. Very nice card. And then the last one here is this dude who plays in League One, right? So some people might be interested in this one. He's a little bit strangely formatted. A little bit. 84 acceleration over 94 sprint speed. A lot of people are going to be turned off by that completely uh, because of the pace situation in the game nowadays. People like the really big cards. However, here's the thing. He's also six foot one. This guy has a high and average body type. He could, excuse me, he could have really good defensive animations. That's the key thing here, right? Four star weak foot on a shadow. You have 84 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Guys, you guys have already seen there's some defenders that have that sort of pace split, but they still defend really well in game, right? So be very mindful of that. Um, he has block plus bruiser, aerial, press proven, power header. So a decent card, but do I think a lot of people will choose this one over some of the other options? Probably not, but he still looks really nice. You know, if you want the Belgian links, you want the League One links, um, he still looks pretty solid. He looks like a the physical type, right? Because he's got the block plus, he's got the bruiser. So he just he just looks like the really, really strong type because he has crazy physical stats, right? 94 for strength, 92 for jumping, 89 for aggression. It's really good to work with the height and the body type that the card has, right? So this one, definitely a W evolution. There is a whole lot of options to work with. I do think that the top two choices is probably gonna be the most relevant. This one for sure, because people love to go with the Premier League links, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys, man. This is like kind of situational to a person's team because they all look really nice. I think for like top tier meta, the, the people on the people that are like making these cards popular, they kind of have it down, in my opinion, right? Because I, I would say the cutoff point is definitely to the Real Madrid player and all of these upwards, right? But these cards still look really cool in their own ways, too. They still look very, very nice. So it's still a W um future stars. Uh, evolution objective like you you can have a lot of very very nice cards here so um really good play styles cards are well formatted for the most part it looks good it looks really really nice but uh we'll see if we can get some reviews for these guys i think i still have to do like two more attackers or something but um after we get those going if you guys want to help out for the reviews and you guys fully unlock these cards be sure to visit the discord that we have right we do have a discord over here where you guys can go into the Incepticons ones. The link is down below. And then there's um, there's a help Inception reviews one, right? This is where people kind of like write and let me know what, type of, what types of cards do they have for me to review and whatnot. So if you guys want to help out for some of those Defender ones, especially the top five ones, because they're, they're going to be like really relevant, just let me know, man. Then we maybe, maybe we could do a review for them, okay? But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys for the next one. I will have to do Neto afterwards. So peace out, dudes. Love you guys.